Will you believe me if I told you that all the things that rules your world were created in less than one second? That's right, all the forces and particles that makes up everything you know were formed faster than you blinking. A while ago, I was reading Wonders of the Universe, written by Professor Brian Cox and Andrew Quinn. I read another crazy thing in the second season and section of the book, which was actually odd for me. This section was talking about the early universe, which believed that a second Big Bang occurred after the actual one. The book described it as a gigantic explosion, which on that era of the universe, it can also be described as a Big Bang. Is it actually proven that this kind of event occurred in the early universe? Did the second Big Bang cause the constant expansion of the universe? Well, we'll talk about it now. We live in a universe that was formed billions of years ago. Stars are being formed and destroyed, galaxies are colliding, black holes rotating and swallowing, and the universe is expanding faster than the speed of light. All these things are a small part of the events that are happening in this beautiful and vast cosmos. We all know that the universe started with the Big Bang, and it took the universe 13.8 billion years old to evolve into this formation. By the way, I know that the previous video was talking about the new age of the universe, but because it is not completely proven yet, we're gonna stick with this number. Thanks to the entropy, the universe is still evolving and changing through time. It took the universe 13.8 billion years to form the stars, galaxies, white, red, and brown dwarf, neutron stars, black holes, and many other things. But what about the actual things that makes up the universe? Well, I'm talking about the quantum war, the war of particles. Believe it or not, but the commons and the infrastructure that held the universe for 13 billion years were created in less than a half a second. How did all this start? Well, it began with the Great Big Bang. We're not sure if the Big Bang was an explosion or something else, but we know it is the best description for the beginning of the universe. The first nanoseconds of the universe were incredibly hot for atoms to exist and extraordinarily dense. If the universe was a house, the first brick was created in the Planck era, which this era started 10 to the power of minus 43 seconds after the Big Bang. You know what it means? It means this era started 0.43 zeros one second after the Big Bang. The temperature on that era was 10 to the power of 32 Celsius, which could be the hottest temperature that was ever recorded in the history of the universe, cause this temperature is 1 billion 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 times hotter than the sun. In this era, all the four forces of the universe were united in one force called the super force. At this point, no matter existed at all and only energy and superforce existed in the space. Scientists called this condition the very symmetrical state. After a while, when the universe expanded and cooled down, for some unknown reason, gravity decided to separate from the superforce, making itself the oldest force to be formed in the universe. Now we are left with gravity and the electronuclei force, which is the combination between the three forces. This separation ruined the symmetric and it became even worse when the strong nuclear force got separated from the electronuclei force. After the strong nuclear force got separated, the GUE, the Grand Unification Era, has ended. These events occurred in only 10 to the power of minus 36 seconds passed from the Big Bang. Nobody knows what happened exactly, but according to some researchers, at this point, a huge explosion occurred in the universe, which caused the universe to expand 10 to the power of 26 times of its size and 10 to the power of minus 32 seconds. You know what it means? It means in 0. Point million, 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 million seconds, the universe size expanded by 100 billion, billion, billion times of its size. Can't be blamed if we said that the second Big Bang caused the rapid expansion of the universe. 
At this stage, the first subatomic particles were created in the universe, which, to be honest, they didn't look that similar to the prism particles because they were massless. So now the whole symmetric system got ruined after even the electroweak force divided into the two forces of electromagnetic and the weak nuclear force. Due to this separation, particles like quarks and electrons were created. The first video of this channel talks about the electroweak force. But because of the low quality, we're gonna talk about it in the future. Today, we gave a summarized picture to the most important events that occurred in the first milliseconds of the universe. The bizarre and deep details will be surely studied in the future. The creation of new particles due to the separation of forces in the universe is described in a theory called the Higgs mechanism. Does Higgs boson have a place in this whole timeline? And by the way, why didn't we recognize the electric energy and the magnetic force as two separated forces of the universe? Well, we'll leave this topic for another video. Until that day, do not stop wondering. I'm